Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, my social thread. I'm Crystal and this is my vlog on all things sewing related. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in and you like the contents of my vlog, then please do hit the like button and subscribe. Um, so today I would like to share a fabric haul with you. But before I do that, I'd like to share with you what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing a Mime today. It is the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra pattern, uh, which is uh, very popular. And the line drawings there, I'm wearing the short sleeve version, button placket, collar, tiered skirt. Um, and there are sort of other options on there as well, changing the, the tiers of the skirts and the sleeve option as well. So my one is just in a viscose, which I bought off Etsy in sort of a lilac uh, background with sort of a dark purple blues and white sort of leaf uh, pattern there. And I've got sort of some lilac um, half shank buttons there. Like I said, I'm wearing the short sleeve version, a button placket, um, and I've added a belt just to cinch it in at the waist. Um, pockets. Back view. And I'm wearing the full um, midi length. Um, I'm quite short, so midi length it actually comes out as maxi length for myself. So... Um, there you go, I can't do the full, can't really see the full length, but I'm sure you, you get the um, overall feel of the dress. So, back to the fabric haul. Um, this is a fabric haul from Sherwood's Fabrics, and also actually from Lady McElroy, because um, I know that Sherwood's Fabrics do a lot of Lady McElroy um, prints, or a lot of Lady McElroy fabrics, um, and I just happened to look on Lady McElroy website itself and they have very similar websites. Um, their invoices are very similar as well. So I wonder whether they're a, a sister company to each other. I'm not sure. If you do know, please do comment below. But anyway, what happened was Sherwoods, I subscribed to their emails and they were having a great offer. 50% off all remnant pieces, which is amazing because Sherwoods um, do really big remnant pieces, like sort of two and a half meters, three meters. The largest I've seen is 3.8 meters, which is great for a remnant, especially at 50% off, especially on Lady McElroy fabrics. Um, because normally from the other shops that I've seen, um, remnants normally come in sort of 30 centimeter pieces, 50 centimeter pieces, maybe 1.2 centimeter, 1.2 meters, um, and those sorts of sizes, which for me, I can't really use that. I think the minimum amount that I really need for any project that I can make um, for myself is sort of two meters, and that would be for like a shirt or a skirt or a blouse. And then generally speaking, I would buy three meters for, for a dress. Um, so anything below two meters doesn't really, um, I, would, I wouldn't really buy. Unless I suppose I was making um, clothes for children, and um, then I would buy sort of smaller pieces for that. So back to the fabric haul. So Sherwood's Fabrics, like I said, 50% off remnants. Um, this was a deal that they were doing after Christmas Day, so Boxing Day up until uh, New Year's Eve, I believe. Um, and they were so busy that I don't think it got delivered until sort of mid-January, but that's, that's fine. So let me share with you what I've bought. So first of all, I have bought the cord baby cord or needle cord um floral renaissance in the rouge and this is if you believe it or not a three meter remnant piece so it's sort of a lovely whiny maroony background with sort of gold flowers and green fo foliage there and my plans for that several plans because it's quite a big um it's a three meter piece um i was planning to make the um, Camden pinafore dress maybe or the skirt by itself um, and another option would be the Pippi pinafore by Jennifer Laurent so that would be quite nice as well so um, yeah those two options I'm not really sure which ones that's actually it's three options pinafore skirt or the pinafore dress there so I'm not really sure which one to go for as yet but there are the options for that um, the second thing I bought was, you're going to laugh now, uh, it's the same thing, <laughs> but in a different colourway. It's in the old gold colourway, um, and just look at the beauty of that. It's lovely soft texture, lovely sheen, um, and a lovely weight to it as well. And I was thinking, again, I guess I could use these options, the Nina Lee Camden Pinafore skirt, Pippi Pinafore, 
Um, or also the um, Tilly and the Buttons... What is their shirt dress called? Rosa, the Rosa shirt dress. Um, I'll try and pop up a picture up here. I have made that before in a chambray and a denim. One with the roll-up sleeves, which is the original sort of version. And then on their website, Tilly has released the full sleeve with the um, cuff on there that you can download for free and add that on. So I've made that version as well. So I could try using these cords for that. Uh, the next piece of fabric that I bought from there is a 1.9 metre remnant. It's called um, Dotty Belt Dots in the Marley Lawn. And it's like a dark wine burgundy background with white irregular dots. So for this one, I'm planning to either make the patina blouse, which is by the Friday Pattern Company. I'll try and pop up a picture up here. Or the Sarah shirt which I got free from a Simply Sewing magazine subscription, but it is an, a by hand London, by hand London pattern. Um, and what I like about it is this Peter Pan collar and also the sleeves. Um, it's cuffed, but it's almost kind of like a, um, you know, uh, a, a bishop sleeve as it were. And it's got sort of um, pleating at the back. And I think that looks quite nice. Um, and when I was looking at it, actually, I thought I would go onto the By Hand London website to find the Sarah shirt. Um, and I thought that the patterns they put in the magazines were exactly the same patterns that they sell online. Because I know, say, for example, So Over It has done a couple of um, patterns that have been included in magazines. Um, Tilly and the Buttons as well, I believe. Um, so I went onto the website and I found the Sarah shirt and it's actually very different. So online, it's a Sarah shirt and dress. Um, I'll try and pop up a picture up there. Um, but basically, they don't have the Peter Pan collar. It's norm uh, like a standard collar with a collar stand or a pussy bow option. So they're the two options for the top. And then you have a blouse version or a dress. And the dress actually is quite nice because it's quite like a slim fitted dress with the button placket going all the way down and then a ruffle at the bottom so it's kind of like a, a loosely fitted dress which I quite like the idea of um, but I was just a bit disappointed really that that wasn't included that pattern wasn't the pattern that was included um, in the magazine um, so I did send them a quick email and I just asked why it was different um, but anyhow I guess I wouldn't have had the Peter Pan collar um, if I had the original pattern in there. So I'm going to try and either make that one or the patina blouse in this fabric here. Um, the next thing I bought was uh, two metres of the Trudy Chambray, Chambray Wild Botanics in black. And it's this floral number here. Um, it's a lovely chambray, chambray fabric, and it's kind of got like a slub to it, almost like a linen feel uh, on a black base with lots of lovely pretty florals on it. To be honest, I didn't really like it when I saw it in real life. Online, it was really pretty, and actually on the camera, it's coming up quite nice, but I think in real life, it's just not something that I would choose if I had seen it in real life. But I suppose as a shirt or a blouse, um, it could look quite nice. So again, similar thing, um, either the Sarah shirt or the patina blouse for that one. Um, and then the next thing I bought was um, this beautiful number. It is the Lady McElroy Midnight Rosette. Um, and I already have this actually in, um, I already have this print in um, the scuba, which is lovely. Um, and I believe uh, Cash Moret, one of their dresses, um, have uh, the, I um, use the scuba in this print um, on their pattern envelope, which is nice. Um, but I, this is a different base that they've released. It's the linen chambray. So um, I thought I would um, grab a piece of that because I really, really adore this print. And I think this is going to be maybe um, a Tilly and the Buttons Lyra, which I love. Let me have it again. Tilly and the Buttons Lyra or the True Bias Shelby dress, which I haven't made yet. Um, and I'll try and pop up a picture up there. So that's that one. The last one on that, no, nope, that's it on that one. Yes. And so I bought those fabrics from uh, Sherwoods and I thought, 
hang on a second let's look on Lady McElroy to see if they have the same offer and I went on their website and they did indeed have the same offer because like I said I believe maybe they are sister companies to each other and the fabric I bought from there let me show you um three meters of the bright side of life white Heidi lawn remnant can you believe in this beautiful lemons so it's a beautiful weight lawn on a white base with these beautiful lemons on there and I just think how beautiful is that um, I was thinking maybe the wilder gown let me just get it for you wilder gown pattern or believe it or not da -da -da -da, another lyra but a short sleeve version i think with the um maxi maxi skirt um so that's the options for that one and the other fabric the next fabric i bought from there was oh, i know you're gonna sigh it's the same fabric print but on the black base so it's just the same print um bright side of life uh, but it's in the black heidi lawn um, I don't really have any plans for that one as yet. So that's going into my stash. Um, and last but not least, I also bought three meters of this hydrangea blush in the Shelly Lawn. Um, and this is lovely. I mean, I'm not a silk connoisseur or anything, but this is just so silky and smooth. The drape and the movement is beautiful. It's a coral base, um, orange flowers and sort of sage green leaves. And they also do this in sort of a black colorway, I believe, as well. Um, but I quite liked this colorway for sort of a spring summer dress. And I'm hoping to do the Sew Over It Eve dress, which um, I will have to pop up a picture um, in the corner there. Um, and yeah, there you go. That's my fabric haul. And just before you go, I thought I'd just share another actually small um, fabric haul with you. This is from Little Legs Fabrics. Um, I think they mainly do Jersey and French Terry uh, stretch fabrics. Um, lots of um, prints for children's wear. And there's also quite a few prints that you could use for adult makes. Um, and they do lovely um, solid colours in the French Terries and the jerseys with the matching ribbing, um, which is nice. So what I've bought from there, it's a bit boring really but it's um fleece back it's black uh, french terry but it's their fleece back so it's lovely and cozy and warm um and the matching black ribbing to go with that um i've also bought the same thing in their old rose color i love this colorway i'm obsessed with this color um and again it's a lovely fleece back and i've also bought the matching rose uh cuffing a rib um, cuffing fabric to go with that um, and the plan for these are to make um, Tilly and the Buttons um, Billy jumpers um, sweaters and I'm going to make the normal sweater um, but with the um, normal sleeve head um, and the billowy sleeves uh, cuffs um, and as they're plain, um, I was hoping to get some um, vinyl, vinyl sort of designs just off Etsy um, and play around with some of the designs and try have a go at ironing sort of vinyl, vinyl designs onto those sweaters, which I think would, would look quite nice. Um, in addition to that, I also bought um, uh, some samples of their sparkle, sparkle ribbing because I do have some fabric here which I bought off Facebook. A lady, there's a company on Facebook that sells some lovely fabrics as well. Um, it is a fleece back, no, actually, no. It's a loop back French terry. So it's a loop back French terry. And it's in a beautiful marble colorway. Let me just show you. So it's got lovely different blues and greens, slight pinks and golds, creams and beiges. And I think that would look quite nice. Again, in a Billy, in the Billy, um, Tilly and the Buttons Billy, um, sweatshirt I think that would look quite nice made up into that and the reason I got the um, samples for the ribbing so I didn't really know what color to go for so if I show you this bit here you've got the sparkly silver color or the sparkly gray let me just put that up there sparkle ribbing in the beige oh that's not bad actually let me hold that up sparkle ribbing in the dusty green that's a lovely color and also the sparkle ribbing in the pink. Now, these are the colors. 
and actually I was thinking of going quite safe and going with the beige but looking on the camera now the the dusky green um, seems quite nice as well and even the silver actually um, <laughs> the pink maybe not so much so it's between these three um, I don't know maybe if you um, have a preference if you can comment below to help me choose which um, cuffing to go for which ribbing to go for for the cuffs the waistband and the neckband there you go um and that's the end of my fabric haul vlog um i hope you enjoyed that and hopefully i'll see you again next time thank you very much for watching bye bye